Roll, we're rolling. Okay, welcome back guys. So we've had a little bit of a weird turn of events in the last couple weeks. We were actually supposed to go drag racing last weekend. That has uh, since been canceled, basically due to a massive heat wave we have here in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> we are pro <laughs> we're proceeding this weekend. We have a big event uh, at Mission Raceway in British Columbia. It's called Door Wars. It's going to be a lot of fast cars. We are racing in the pro class, so we won't be racing with uh, you know the, the guys who are running in the low sevens, high sixes, but uh, we're going to give it our best. And uh, yeah, so we're just loading up. We're basically doing the same thing that we just did last week and uh yeah that's about it stay tuned will john force be there john force will not be there this weekend he messaged me on instagram saying that he can't make it but that's uh, neither here nor there Can you jump? Can you jump? Try it. I dare you. I triple doggy dare you. Okay, we got our first legit sponsorship here. I contribute a lot to this precise mechanical Westview racing team. So we're gonna put a sticker on here. Okay, is this clean? Yeah. This is a big moment, guys. This is a big moment for Jeff and his race truck. We need some more dollars. I wanna put it like right here so it's that's, really noticeable. That's too much. Okay, fine. Do you guys want some sweet clothing? You're really gonna win now, Jeff. Check it out. We're rolling, we're rolling. Okay guys, so basically first day here at Mission Raceway, we've made four test hits. We've struggled right out of the box here. We um, have been playing around with some suspension tuning. We've been trying to keep it to one subtle change at a time. What we found when we try to make too many changes, we don't know what worked. So first off, right out of the trailer, we had our shock settings. Um, we found that our separation under launch um, was pretty hardcore. It was really killing the tire. I'll actually put in one of those clips here. So basically when the rebound's too loose, it'll shoot the tire into the track. We're trying to just mitigate that. Um, we're also keeping our launch RPM consistent at 3,500. We launched this truck a little bit less because we, <laughs> we launched this truck a little bit less than RPM. I'm trying to be serious. Because we're trying to, we have a small tire, so we're trying to hit a little bit softer, take a run at the converter. How, and, how, yeah. how, how wide are the tires? So that the tires are 30 by nine. Do you do it with your hands again? This one. Okay. So basically we have, we have four runs, all the same launch RPM. We got the truck pretty dialed in. We'll show you that run right now. Our plan now is to lower the launch RPM by 200 RPM 
and hopefully we get a clean rollout and we'll try to minimize um, tire, uh, tire shape. Tire scrubbage. Tire scrubbage. Try not to unload the tires. Stay tuned. Cascade. Yeah, hey, Jeff? Cut. Jeff? Yeah. That's a nice looking angle. Yeah, do you have something to say to the camera? Uh, yeah, it's a great day at Mission. We haven't been here for two years, so we're here to have fun and enjoy and get this baby running quick. Oh, about well, the sunglasses? When did you start rocking oh, those? I want to be like Alan Johnson. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what you're trying to be like, aren't you? I'd like to thank Emma, Cole, and Nancy Sid for all of their help. Tops Auto Repair back home for the tune-up. <laughs> Whitworth will get their first of the Lord Colain 625 at 109. 10, 3, 4, 65 miles an hour for Sid. Like flat like they did on the other yeah. one. Yeah, I gotta fix this fucking... Viewing the footage. Fuck, okay. eh? Fuck, eh? Okay. Hey guys, we're back with day two with the S10. We've been fighting traction issues at the start of the track here. Basically, we've been trying to dial in the 60 foot times. We've been running into a lot of issues with shocks and we've been messing around. We were able to make a little bit of headway. Uh, anyways, at the end of the day... We, we took some timing out. We took some timing out. We ended up having to do just a Hail Mary play to get the truck to be consistent for the weekend because we're running out of time for test and tune. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we were only able to get three hits in today. The third hit, we actually... Uh, we have we a, dead hooked. We, okay, Again, so we have a bad. programmable MSD box. VIP we took timing out in the launch VIP and we added some weight. Come check out Looks the weight back smells here. like dinner is being served upstairs. Timing and RPM. We took yeah. RPM out as we well. We got a pretty good weight setup on this for ballast. You can't even really see one it. Hour, right just here. Under one hour. It's a so secret thing. Call, Underneath, you saw one. One hour to start. Oh. Yeah, that's good. So as you can see there, we got two, we got lead bars on both sides of the truck and it equals about 100 pounds. We ended up putting in the so weight. So far, how's the, how's the day go so far? Fuck sakes. Fuck sakes. We didn't well, want to have to put the weight in. The uptake here, the facility of this we didn't want to put the weight in the truck, but we ended up having to do that. As I can. Just to get well, a dead bug, well, and we did actually get a dead bug out of it. We got a really good 60 foot time. So we're hoping on our next hit, we'll be able to just be consistent for the weekend. We're running about 626 at 8 miles, at about 110 miles an hour. So we're going to just keep going. we got two qualifying hits tomorrow morning, and then it goes into eliminations. And so uh, just hour. gonna cross our fingers and hopefully the same dead hooks every time. What have, what have your lights been like? Well, reaction no times time. have not been good. We've been so focused on getting the truck dialed in that I haven't had time to work on my reaction times. Kind of an excuse, but basically that's what we're dealing with. So, anyways, we're gonna get some live action tomorrow. Uh, so the eliminations uh, and go into to. Uh, if you're here at the racetrack, you're probably How's the weather been? happy to what? be so How's the weather been? Weather's been hot today. Was a hotter we've day. You can see it with a mile per hour. Fantastic news the other day to hear the word. The truck has slowed down a little bit, but uh, we're gonna. And that's because the air, the air. We'll show you guys some shots of the locking here. If you guys are liking this content, remember to uh, hit smash that subscribe button, hit the like, like and subscribe, like and subscribe right here. Hey buddy. Okay, so plan uh, stay three. We are Saturday. Today's race day. We got two qualifying hits this morning. Uh, we tried to get another hit yesterday. We were unable to. Basically, just gonna go with what we had. We had a good 60 foot, it was a dead hook, and basically, we're gonna go up there with the exact same tune. We're not changing a thing. We just threw a fresh set of plugs in this morning, and then we are gonna run it, and hopefully, we get a dead hook, and then we can start racing. Two qualifying hits this morning. Stay tuned. Jeff Whitworth, that Chevy S10 long box out of precise mechanical repair taken on Jason Graw, that very strong Chevy Z28. Red light for Jeff Whitworth. We're gonna see the Camaro back in round three. 
Goes 6, 8, 91 on an 88 dial. Again, final call for electronics cars to staging, please. Absolute final call for elect. Okay, guys, day four update. We're here at the track. Basically, we made it through first round yesterday. I'll show you guys the clip for that. Great. Here. And, uh, patch kit or plug kit. Basically, red lighted in the second round. We've been having some trouble. Well, I have been having trouble launching the truck. My reaction times have not been very consistent. Attention in the facility. We're getting another call the here. The VIP lounge is now open on Woo! the third floor of the timing tower. If you are a VIP pass so, holder. Carrying forward, we notice that when I engage my trans brake, the actual truck is rocking there. back and forth Fantastic quite a bit. So you can see the rocking open. when I have the trans brake button so on. While, uh, we've got and unfortunately, to go we're, and we're thinking there's a bit of a problem with the transmission. I believe this is a brand new build. Tell us what's up, Jeff. Welcome Jeff back, guys. Okay, first, first round eliminations. <laughs> first round eliminations coming in. Uh, truck ran a 625. We're eighth mile time. 625 and a 623. So it sped up a little bit. Styled in at a 625. Give us a little bit of playing room at the top end. Mm -hmm. We're gonna just send it, see what happens. Send it. We're sending good energy out. We'll have a good fucking. Can you do that thing that you did again? Eliminations. Eliminations. <laughs> net girl? What? Do you need your net up? Yeah, put the net up. This is my duty. We're doing our good luck routine. <laughs> I hate, I'm always so nervous. No, you're not. Well, until I get up there. This should have been Door Wars 10, but obviously 2020 was a complete wash. We all want to forget that it ever, never happened. Said 28 out of Abbotsford paired up with Jeff Whitworth. The long box Chevrolet S10 powered by a 3D3 brought to you by Precise Mechanical Repair. Both in, tree is high. Both races away clean, tenth of a second going to Jason Graw. Both racers break out, win goes to Jeff. How are you feeling, Jeff? Good. Round two, baby. Round two. Okay, so basically here we got the 1984 <laughs> Chevy S10. It's got a 427 small block, um, and we're just going rounds today. What's your favorite part about it? Back to go fast. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is heading into the second round of eliminations. I was up against a really good racer. He races all the time in the pro bracket class. He completely treed me, as you could uh, see in the video there. And I ended up breaking out. I forget what he was dialed in at. But yeah, the truck was hooking up, being super consistent. It was basically down to my reaction time. And he basically had an easy win, as you can see right here.
he's got me by about half a car. So chalked it up. It's a bit of a learning experience. And yeah, that's about it for round two on Sunday. Bollinger, moving on. We're wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. Second round eliminated. Uh, lost it on the tree. Terrible reaction time. And uh, couldn't get him in the top end. Rest in peace. Replay here. The redundancy. The redundancy fucking block. No. Yeah. The fun of packing up. Got a bike in the left lane. Gonna make a test pass. I'm just creeping on you. Oh, this is a good view. The sun is shining. Clean. My baby's looking good. The bike. The bike. <laughs> oh,